okay so let's continue uh, okay in case now the light moves from a medium which is slower to a medium which is faster for example from water to air okay uh, for example you are looking at something in water underwater so how will the light travel in order to see this object which is underwater the light will travel from this object to your eyes for example you are looking at a fish underwater okay to be able to see the fish the light must travel for sure from the fish to your eyes so here the light is traveling from where to where from water to air and we know that the light is slower in water than in air okay so here the red one the incoming light the incident ray for example which is coming from water in water okay from a fish for example or any object underwater it hits the boundary between water and air at this boundary we draw the normal we show the angle of incidence okay we show the angle of incidence this this is the original path of light this is the original path of light will the light continue straight as it comes from water to air so for sure no it will not so how will it bend will it bend towards the normal or away from the normal we have these two options either towards or away how will it bend it will bend away because here it's going to a faster medium so it will speed up and it will go away from the normal okay so these are the two cases we have to study them very well okay so first case when the object goes from a medium which is faster to a medium which is slower okay how it bends it bends see this is the original path uh, this is the original path sorry okay so for sure it does not go along the original path it bends how it bends toward because it slows down here from slow to fast how does it bend away because it speeds up okay so you have to repeat these two drawings and you have to draw them along okay now let's let's suppose that our incident ray our incoming ray is coming perpendicular to the surface this is the boundary between the air or and the other medium okay in this case only under this condition if the incident ray is perpendicular to the surface the ray will continue straight on because girls here if i draw the normal okay so the ray what uh, 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 and the normal are on the same line in this case only in this case there is no refraction no band of light okay so the light will continue straight on only in this condition uh, under this condition so if light ray enters another medium perpendicular to the boundary the ray does not bend okay so let's see this visual concept together now about the refraction okay light rays that strike the surface of the water at an angle bend as they travel from air into water this property of light is called refraction. Refraction of light occurs because light travels as waves. When waves travel from one material to another at an angle, their speed changes and they bend. Light waves, for example, move more quickly through the air than they do through water. A beam of light, therefore, follows a straight path as it moves through the air, bends as it enters the water, and changes speed and then continues on a straight path through the water. Okay, so this is the, uh, the visual concept. Right now, so we'll continue. So pay attention with me, girls. Uh, in case, sorry. Yes. We already, girls, talked before about the wave model of the light. Okay, do you remember what is the wave model? We said that the light or the electromagnetic waves, they travel in wave front. Remember what are the wave fronts? We said each wave front, it's like the sphere that connects all the particles which are in the same state of vibration. For example, for light, light, what is it? It's a transverse wave. We have a crest and traps, right? Okay, so the sphere that connects all the first crests together, it is the first wave front. The sphere that connects all the second wave uh, crests together it is the second wave front and so on so we 
represent the light, the motion of light, okay, the distribution of light as wave model, as wave fronts. Or, if this is Huygens' principle, if you remember it, remember it from the previous chapter. Or we can use the ray approximation, which is much simpler. We can just use the ray, and which is always, you remember the ray, it's a start from the source and radiate how outward. And this ray, because yeah, it starts from the center and it goes out, so it's perpendicular to all wave fronts. Okay, so this ray, what is the role of this ray? This ray, it, indi it indicates uh, the direction of the light in, in, uh, in each place. So, here, let's suppose here I have these wave fronts. Here I'm using the, uh, not the spherical wave fronts, they are using the plane. To make it easier here this uh, this the black girls uh, this is the wave model okay uh, so here the wave fronts are in air okay before they enter in water okay the blue ray here it is the ray okay which said ray is always perpendicular to these wave fronts so uh, no, uh, it, uh, we will girls don't worry because we will use the ray approximation we will not draw the wave front or wave model of, of refraction because it's more complicated okay yes so inside of other mediums such as air glass or water the speed of light is different and is usually less than c what is c c is the three times ten to the power of eight which is a constant value in vacuum so in other mediums the a value of speed of light is less than c all waves are known to undergo refraction when they pass from medium to another that is when the wave front crosses a boundary between two media plural of medium the direction that the wave front is moving undergoes a sudden change the path is bent so here again we are explaining the concept of refraction okay pay attention with me here you have this figure in your book here um the same thing they are talking about refraction but using what using the wave model instead instead of using the ray okay so see here this is the ray okay so this is the ray here shown here okay we we used before only ray okay like this then it bends like for example like this okay so here they are not explaining the ray approximation because already we explained it they are explaining the same effect the refraction but using wave front okay pay attention with me these are the spherical wave front okay let's suppose that we have source of light here okay source of light here and it's giving it's giving what um a wave fronts so these are for example the first spherical wave fronts this is the line that connects these wave fronts okay like these are the second wave fronts this is the dotted line is the line that connects these second wave fronts okay so these wave fronts are going toward the boundary between the air and the glass as they hit this boundary see what will happen for the wave front each wave front it will like it was going how like this see see the difference between this one and this one it turns it turns how toward the normal see this line okay and this line this one it's the incident ray and this one is the refracted ray okay but by using the wave front model you see that this wave how what uh, what happened for this wave it turns it turns okay it slows down the same for all wave fronts okay so what happens here if we use like line that connects all the, the wave fronts together and line that connects all the second wave fronts together and line that connects all the third wave fronts together and you dip, you compare these lines here and here 
See what how it happens. These wave fronts they become closer to each other. See the distance between them here. It's less than the distance between them here, right or no? So why? Because in water they slow down. So the wave fronts becomes closer to each other. Type what is the distance between wave fronts? What's called? It is lambda the wavelength. Wavelength, it is the length of one wave, which is the distance from one point to the same uh, consecutive point. Huh? So, wavelength, uh, uh, as we go from air to water, it's shortened. Okay, so it decreases here, wavelength, so decreases when the medium changes, when the speed changes. What happens for the speed here? It decreases okay so speed we know speed is equal to wavelength times frequency okay here are we in the same medium we are not we are going from medium to another so here uh, we can't say that when wavelength decrease this will decrease no okay here when we go from a faster medium, from a medium in which light travels faster, to a medium in which light travels slower, okay? So the speed of light now is slower. The wavelength decreases due to change in speed. Frequency stays the same here. Why? So girls, the same wave fronts here stays the same. Because here the same wave fronts, they just slow down. We don't have any uh, extra number of wave fronts. Okay, what is the definition of frequency? Frequency it's the number of waves, right, per second. So here, during the same time interval, we have the same number of wave fronts. The only difference is that these wave fronts what happens for them this way from they become slower okay so here we can't say that the frequency increases at all okay because if the frequency uh, increases it means that we should have some waves sorry we should have some waves that pop up from no Thing. so which is impossible we can't we can't have waves that um, are created from nothing okay I hope that you understand it